Next up on WTV, Picture Day, this week's edition of Trivia and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, September 21st, and I'm Kate Graham with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Governor Abbott announced the retail stores and restaurants can open up to 75% capacity. WTV's Madigan Gunya has the details. After weeks and weeks of many businesses being limited to 50% capacity, the government announced starting today retail, restaurants, manufacturing centers, office buildings, museums, libraries, and gyms can open up to 75% capacity. However, there are limitations on this as state officials said reopening will depend on the total number of COVID-19 hospitalizations in the region. If COVID-19 hospitalizations exceed 15% of the total overall hospitalizations in that region, capacity will not be able to increase. This increase in capacity could be a good thing for many local businesses as it will allow more customers inside at one time. Reporting for WTV, this is Madigan Gunya. Picture Day will be held on September 22nd and 23rd and will look differently from previous years. WTV's Zane Romani has a story. Due to COVID-19, the process for taking school pictures this year will look very different for students than in the past years. On September 22nd and 23rd, face-to-face -face students will be taking their pictures through their English classrooms for the yearbook and their student IDs. Students will be required to wear their IDs throughout the school day. The makeup date for the pictures will be on October 1st. Reporting for WTV, this is Aid Romani. On this week's edition of Trivia, WTV's TJ Kurlowitz tests students' knowledge on colleges. Hello and welcome to Wingspan Trivia. I'm your host TJ Croats and today we'll be testing students' knowledge on college. The first question for this week's trivia is what is the most enrolled college in Texas and how many people do they have? Um, the college in Texas that I believe has the most enrollment is probably Texas A&M. Uh, I think it's probably got around 80,000 people. That sounds about right. Okay, the largest enrolled college in Texas Mm, it's probably tech or something. The largest enrolled college in Texas is A and M. It has like I don't know how many people go there, like fifty thousand, something like that. The uh, is Texas Tech because I think it's the, pretty much the easiest one to get into. Second question is how many Ivy schools are there? I think there's eight. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's eight. There's seven Ivy League colleges. There's 12 Ivy League colleges. There's seven Ivy League schools, pretty sure. And the last question for this week's trivia is what college has a mascot named Bevo? It's definitely UT, um, hook em horns. UT, UT has the Bevo, it's the Longhorn. Yeah, the answer is UT. Bevo, or Bevo, I don't know how to say it. Um, that's the Longhorns mascot. Reporting for WTV, this is TJ Krolitz. On today's Sports Minute, WTV's TJ Krolitz brings you a recap of Red Hawk Sports. Red Hawk Volleyball took on Bishop Lynch on Friday and what would be their first match of the weekend. Bishop Lynch matched up well and the Red Hawks slipped by winning 3-2. Red Hawk Volleyball also played McKinney North in a non-conference game this Saturday, right before District. The Red Hawks had a good start, but lost the first game by a score of 25-21, and McKinney North then went on to win the next two rounds, beating the Red Hawks 3-0. Their volleyball team will look to bounce back versus Reedy tomorrow and the first District 9-5A match of the season. Football kicked off against Roy City on Friday in a scrimmage, and it was all Red Hawks from the start to finish as they won 30 to nothing, only allowing 158 total yards in the entire game. Football starts its journey for the playoffs on Friday when they take on Reedy and was a non-district matchup. They kick off this Friday at 7 p.m. at the Ford Center. Cross Country competed in the North Texas Circuit early Saturday morning. On the boys' side, Cross Country finished 7th place total, 2nd in district, only behind 1st place Reedy. The Cross Country girls finished 21st out of the 24 schools. They will run again next week at the McNeil Invitational next Saturday at 7 at Old Settlers Park. Red Hawk Golf is hitting the green today for the first time this year, going into the Little Elm Inventational. The match started at 8 and is taking place at the Frisco Lakes Golf Club. Reporting for WTV, this is TJ Krilowitz. 
if you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. Are you interested in competing in esports such as Valorant, Super Smash Bros., and Rocket League? Frisco ISD is organizing a competitive esports league across all 10 high schools. Contact Mr. Ham at hamc at friscoisd.org with any questions.